Hey, how's it going, guys? Today, I want to go through this uh, leak code problem, uh, problem 721. Uh, it's for uh, account merge. So, um, using uh, the depth first search. And um, I will go through my approach later. So, let's take a, first take a look at the problem. So, uh, what we have is to um, uh, give you a list of accounts where each element uh, is a list of strings. And the first element is a name. Um, so uh, this is the first element. Uh, there's a name, John and John and Mary and John. So that's the first element. And uh, next, uh, what we want to do is to merge this account. Two accounts uh, definitely belong to the same person if there is some common email uh, to both accounts. And uh, and we need to make a note that um, even the two accounts have the same name, they may belong to uh, different people uh, because people can have the, uh, have the same name. So uh, we can have two Johns, but you have the, the two Johns with different uh, emails because they, they are the two different person with the same name. So a person can have uh, many, any number of accounts initially, but all of the accounts definitely have the same name. And, and also after that, we need to, after the merging the account, we need to do some sorting. So we turn the account in the, uh, in the following format. The first element of this account is name and the rest. So the, uh, the email chain is in, needs to be sorted. So let's go through a, an example. Uh, what we mean by that. Um, so, uh, for the first account, uh, we have, uh, oops. So for the first account, we have, um, uh, John, right? Um, this is the name of the person. And uh, so that's the first element. So this is uh, what I mean here. Um, we have uh, John Smith at mail.com and John uh, New York at mail.com. Um, the second uh, account is uh, John Smith at mail.com and John uh, 00 at mail.com. So we can see that these two, uh, these two account belongs to the same person, the same John, because we have the same uh, email. That's why when we need to do, when we need to do is to merge these two accounts, become one single account. And then we have this, uh, another person named uh, Mary and Mary at email. So we, we, this one, uh, we will have a separate account, uh, uh, just only for Mary. And uh, lastly, we have another John and uh, John Bravo at mail.com. And notice that, and this one has no, uh, Common email to the two Johns, uh, two uh, John accounts that we saw earlier. So because uh, the link is the John Smith at mail.com and John Smith at mail.com, and this 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 John does not have this link. That's why it be, belongs to a separate John account, a uh, separate account for uh, another person named John. So uh, the output is um, refers to merge uh, the first two accounts. Um, and then we need to sort um, the the mail stream, the mail uh, the mail chain, the email chain uh, in the sorted order. And uh, and another one uh, this was beyond uh, Mary. And um, so it's only one account, so it's easy. And only one account, so not much of sorting. Um, and then the last one uh, and so also has only one account. And this is uh, and again it belongs to another person named John. So uh, there's a hint down below here. So it says uh, every pair of emails in the same account draw an edge between those emails. The problem is about uh, problem is about uh, enumerating the connected component of the graph. So uh, how, how how can we do it? Um, one of the approaches is to um, to use the depth first search. And uh, to do that, we first need to uh, create a graph and to build the edges. Uh, That's what it says in here, uh, draw an edge between these accounts. So this is the very first step. Um, first, we need to uh, build a graph. So it is from um, uh, the collections uh, library and then we call the, uh, the default uh, dictionary. And then the default uh, element is a, is a set because um, because we don't want duplication, right? So that's why we need a set, and then that will be a default. 
when there is a no, no uh, key in the dictionary. And then we have another dictionary, uh, email to name. So the key is the email and the, the name um, is the value. So um, this is what, I mean, the reason why we need that is because when we, uh, in the later stage, when we return uh, the output, the name is the first component. That's why we need this uh, dictionary. So uh, the first four loops, so the first for loop is um, a loop through the account. And uh, we grab the first element. So um, for each of the account, and then the first element is the name. So we have this first element, uh, and then we, within this account, the first element is the name. And then E1, email one, is the second element within that account. So uh, name is this element, E1 is this element, and this is how we can uh, start building the graph. And for an email in the account from element one, to the end. So basically we are looping through the rest of the other emails except uh, I mean the first element is a, is a name. That's why we don't need that. That's why we're starting from index one. So uh, from one to the end and then we start to build the graph. Graph one. Uh, when we put the key one. So we look at um, uh, the so this becomes a linkage of the of the graph in the graph so as you can see um, we look at the key being the first email and then for that set right because we have the set and then we add that element to the email that we will see, be seeing later on so basically this will be a set that containing all the neighboring uh, emails and then the key being the first email. I mean, we can use um, any email in the key as we want, as long as uh, that that key is is one of the in one of the uh, uh, emails within the account. And but in this choice, because in this case we choose. Um, the first email because everyone has at, at least one email so that's why uh, we, we choose that so that's the first uh, relationship the second relationship is to have this individual email to link it back to this uh, greater uh, neighborhood so for each email that we're looping through this account and then we link it back to the first email I will show you uh, what how this graph looks like uh, later, and then the this one is uh, straightforward. So we have the key. Uh, I mean, this is uh, we referencing back to this uh, email to name dictionary, and then the the, uh, the key being the name, value being the uh, the key being the email, the value being the name. That's why we just uh, filling all up the uh, this uh, dictionary. So let's take a look at the graph, how it looks like. Um, as we can see, uh, as an uh, input, as we saw earlier, and uh, the, the graph looks like this. So John Bravo um, has his own uh, uh, location in the graph because it's only, only one email has no, again, he has no uh, relationship with the, the other uh, two um, accounts belong to the same name, John. And then John Smith, this is where it gets interesting. So John Smith has, um, so this, so, so this one is created by this uh, statement. Also this statement as well for the John Barrow, but this guy, John Smith uh, at mail.com. Uh, and then you can see all the neighbors, right? Eight neighbor, one, the first one being itself, Second one will be John OO, uh, and the third one is John New York, and this is created by this guy over here. Um, graphic uh, E1, email one being this one, and then add items, keep adding these neighbors. And then uh, Mary, and uh, again, this is the same, I mean, uh, same as the John Bravo case. 
and then join OO. That is linked back to this uh, uh, this linkage, back to the the first email, John Smith, and this is done by this statement here: graphic um, email, the email being John OO at the first email, um, which is a linkage, John Smith. So we're building all the connections on the graph. And of course, uh, John New York is building, again, same as uh, John OO, and uh, created by this uh, uh, statement. And this is linked back to the, the John Smith um, uh, linkage. Uh, in terms of uh, time complexity and space complexity, as we can see, we're just looping through uh, first, we loop into all the account, and then we finish the account, we loop into all the emails. So it's a big O of a number of emails, uh, the big O of N, N being number of the emails, and the space is uh, the same. Right? So uh, that's the big O. And then after we creating those, those blocks, um, what we, the purpose of these blocks is to create, a, create a, the graph. And after that, after that, we can uh, loop it through and then generate the uh, uh, the output. So first, we have a set named scene. So this one uh, keeps track of uh, all the email that we have previously previously seen. So initially, it will be an empty set because we have not yet seen any email at that point in time. And then this sorted email list is something that we want to return at the end. This is an answer. So. What we want to do first, we do want to look through all the emails to name. I mean, basically, we grabbing all the emails um, in a, uh, in this um, in this bigger pictures, all the email that we're going to look through. So we look look through John Smith and John O O, uh, Johnny Bravo and Mary, uh, Doc, uh, and, and uh, John New York. All the email we're going to look through, and then we want to examine each one of them, and. Uh, so the uh, the com complexity is a big O of a number of emails. If that email has not previously been seen, so this this email is not in this set, and uh, now we are seeing it. That's why we the this seen set um, can add this email. This is uh, so we can keep track of uh, what email we have seen. So we not we not we we won't uh, double count. And then we have a, a stack, which is a list. And this list contains only one email, uh, which is the email that we are looking at right now, which has not been seen before. And then we have an email chain. And at the beginning, this email chain will be an empty list. And then this stack. So while this stack is not empty, so it means when there are some elements in this stack, and then this loop will be running. So at the beginning, of course, uh, it's not empty because this is um, one and only one element, which is the email that we have not seen before. And the first step we, we do is to pop it off. So delete the item from the list, and then we catch it by using this item um, 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 component. So we're catching this uh, popping off uh, email that we are examining. And then it's a email chain. We are appending this guy at the end of it. So we're appending this uh, empty list and then appending this uh, email that we have not seen before. And then this is where the graphic uh, come into play. So for all the neighbor in the graph, So this is where we're using this set. For example, John Smith will look at, I mean, John Smith will be this guy and look at all the neighbors. This is all the neighbors, right? So um, this graph is a dictionary and then the key is the item, item that we examine, examining. So look at this key. And then we taking a look at this um, neighbor, each of the neighbors. If the neighbor is not in the if the neighbor has not been previously seen, and then the stack, the stack will be appending that neighbor because we want to we want to have this uh, 
this neighbor could need to go through this wild loop again because uh, this neighbor has not been seen before. And now has neighbor has been seen. That's why we added to the scene set to keep track of um, of the of the element that we, we are seeing. So we won't double count. And uh, the com time complexity is um, um, for this loop, we're just looping through all the neighbors. So it's a big over n neighbors. And then when the stack is adding that neighbor, and then we keep coming back to this loop again. When this stack is has one element, it go back to the while loop until the stack is empty, until this loop, this part is not uh, brand. And then after that, after we connect, uh, after we collect all the um, neighbor elements, what we can do is uh, we append um, this uh, list, and this list has two components. One is the name, as so we can see the name, John. So that um, that is done by this part, email to a name, because we using back to this um, um, dictionary. So we are going to the email and then look back to the name. That's why we have the first element. And then we sort the email chain, which we keep appending. Originally it was empty and then we keep appending the items, the new, the, the first item itself and then the neighboring items. And then we sort it. And then we basically we combining the list to the name. And then the sorting takes uh, n of uh, n log n, and then the n being the number of neighbors. And then we append it to the answer, the sorted email list, and then we return that. So um, this algorithm, um, this is the performance of this algorithm. And this is so much um, for this uh, lead code exercise. And um, and is asked by uh, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, Uber, and also LinkedIn. And uh, we have applied to the uh, depth first approach. And um, I hope you like it. And uh, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.